On one side, there's Donald Trump with his standard pomp and grandstanding before crowds of fans. On the other, there's Kamala Harris and her face-to-face -face interactions with emotional supporters. They have two diametrically opposed strategies, but both candidates are preoccupied with the same thing. Tuesday's debate. The debate with Joe, how did that work out? And we're going to find it out again on Tuesday night. Is anybody going to be watching? Finally got out of the debate prep to look at these spices. Best part of debate prep so far. <laughs> Harris has had years of experience with televised debate since she was elected district attorney of San Francisco in 2002. She was able to put Vice President Mike Pence back in his place in 2020. If Mr. Vice President, I'm speaking. I have to I'm speaking. Yeah. Nonetheless, Trump is a strong adversary. Harris has hired Philippe Reines to play the role of the billionaire for debate simulations. He worked with Hillary Clinton in 2016, which allowed her to dominate the debates, but not to win the election. Trump has also recruited a stand-in for his opponent. Tulsi Gabbard, former Trump rival, has rallied to his cause. She is known for having presented a challenge for Harris in a primary debate five years ago. She put over 1,500 people in jail for marijuana violations and then laughed about it when she was asked if she ever smoked marijuana. Trump has to master his nerves and retain composure. Harris has to seem reassuring and presidential. Those impressions are still pretty shallow. So in many ways, this is as much a job interview for her with this big, broad audience that she's going to have as it is a debate and encounter with the former president. The debate will take place in Philadelphia, cradle of American democracy. The candidates have just over one more day to be ready.